Go introduce yourself. Oh, aren't you gonna sit here? Well, yeah. Oh, Andrew Malionic. <laughs> uh, hi, I'm Andrew. Oh, hi, I'm Andrew Malionic. I'm the dad of Kendall Malionic. And Anna. And Anna. <laughs> I'll say it again. Hi, I'm I'm Andy Malionic. I'm the dad of Kendall Malionic and Anna Malionic. Chapter one. Yeah. Chapter one is his childhood. And where'd you grow up? Uh, Hyde Park. Looking back on it, it was a tough, uh, tough area to live. Uh, violence and, and racism that uh, that I encountered. It was it was it was pretty. It was a tough spot to grow up. Uh, my parents still live in a house that I grew up in, in their 80, 87, 88, and it's hard to see them um, in an area that's really. It's tough. It's a hard spot. Tough in the sense that it's it's violent down the street. There was. Um, Shooting uh, recently, there was a, uh, a car accident where a car hit a person right down the street. So going up, my house was broken into three times. Three times? Yeah, two or three times. I think we came home from the Cape one day and we came home to um, just the whole house torn apart. They took, they took money, they took, my mother used to collect uh, little figurines that were valuable. Yeah, they took my, my piggy bank and they stole all my change. My neighbor, uh, when I was growing up, his, their son was a police officer and he happened to um, shoot a, a, a kid and there was a big complaint whether or not it was justified, the shooting. And so there was a big protest outside my house. And that, that was the growing up and seeing a, a riot outside your house. The first time I stayed over at her mom's house, I couldn't fall asleep because there was no car noise, there was no sirens, there was no street light shining through my window. It was too quiet for me. Also, I had a hard time whenever we would leave the house. Uh, Grandma Jan always left the door unlocked or left the door open, like not even closing. And I, I, I had a, I had, it wasn't even my house, but I always had a hard time leaving the house. Um, it, it was a tough spot to grow up in, but I. Look, I had some good memories there. That's chapter one. Now this is chapter two, which is his where he went to college, England. Yeah. Right? Yeah. But after high school, I went to Assumption College in Worcester. After graduating from Assumption, I went to Boston College mm -hmm. and got my master's. It, it was philosophy. I then went to a, a PhD program in uh, Aberdeen, Scotland. And so in between that, I, I took classes at Oxford. So Oxford, I spent a summer taking classes. And then after Oxford, I went to the University of Aberdeen in Scotland. And where he lived for a year. Where I lived for a year. And I loved it. I made good friends there. Didn't our mom hate it? Yeah, 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 yeah. My mom hated it. She lived with you for how yeah, long? Yeah, she, uh, probably about a half a year. She tried to get a job, uh, but she couldn't. Um, and she got sick. I wrote my thesis, 300 plus pages. Mm -hmm. It took about seven years. Um, it's been published and it was on physicalism. Uh, the idea that we have to see things and feel things in order to believe that they're real. And I was saying that there's more to things, like you don't necessarily have to feel or sense it to know that it's there kind mm -hmm. of thing. I did not get the PhD. Long story short, it was a draw. I, I would I would say uh, going to uh, another country to visit or to learn or to live is a very good experience. And I would recommend it to everyone. Now, this is the awkward one. This is chapter three, marriage and- Oh yeah, yeah. So I met mom in college and then we just stayed together after that. And so we, got married in 2000 and we bought a house in Maynard. That's where Anna was born and you were born. And then uh, we got divorced. It was hard because I, I was going through a divorce and I, I lost my job at the same time. I needed a place to stay. So I was living with a friend of mine in Auburn. And you lived with Jay? I lived with Jay, yeah. And so I lived with him, um, and but all my belongings were in the car. So I lived out of my car. 
you know, it was hard to, to sort of bounce back from that. And, and it, mostly self-esteem and ego and all that. What really was, was important was that you guys were okay and happy. That, that was most important to me. I lived in Maynard, I moved to Acton, and then Acton now I'm in Clinton. Yeah, it's, it's a nice apartment. It's in an old factory that was, I think they made like um, carpets and things like that. And um, I, I heard, I gotta, I gotta um, read more about this, but I think they made carpeting for the Titanic in this, in this factory. I'm not quite sure. Of course you would know that. Yeah. But this, this room is, this is a, it's a nice place. Um, but it was, it was tough to go through that um, situation not only being separated, because the hardest part was being away from, from you guys, you and Anna. That was the hardest part. And then I lost my job on top of that. I needed a job, so I worked as a waiter in a restaurant in Concord, um, and I still do, actually. So like I said in the beginning, I'm a school principal, but in the summer I work as a, um, a server, because it's, it's just a change of pace. It's something to, something to get my mind off of things. Mm -hmm. And I, I worked at Hanscom Air Force Base. That job ended because the war in the Ukraine broke out. My program stopped until we got a word from Congress saying that they were going to okay it. But when they stopped it, so did my paychecks. So then I left that and then I found this job where I am right now. Uh, a principal of a school in Millbury, a private school in Millbury. The experience of making this documentary really gave me the opportunity to get to know my father on a more personal level and form an even closer bond. This has also taught me to simply take the time to get close with your parents.